them. I sell my socks. And somebody had asked me, do I make baby socks? I said, no, but I, I probably can. And they wanted 10 pairs for their daughter's baby shower. And I had about three or four months until the shower, shower to come up with something. And I tried various patterns out there. There's a booty pattern that you kind of tuck inside each other. But I'm going to tell you, somebody, I tried one of those and I put on a baby and it fell off. It wasn't going to work. It wasn't what she really wanted. She really wanted a sock. So I looked out there. I went to the Great Canadian Crank and asked around up there. And I just, nobody had ever really made them. And I said, so I came up with this. And what I do is I'm using a 54 cylinder every other needle. I am using, I use mostly the opal yarns, which are these. I have used the, I think this is opal six ply. Uh, Anna Fisher sells the six, you'll find it different places. Is that six ply? It's 150 grams per skein. No, this is four. Okay, that's what this is. This here is six ply. It comes like that, but it's 150 grams. I've seen it on it on um, at Little Knits. I've seen it. Um, Anna Fisher or Daphne used to sell it. Um, it's thicker. I've made socks for adults with this. I'm not a fan of it. Maybe if you lived in really cold country, and it's kind of stiff when you make it, okay, for adults if you use it. When it comes off the machine, yesterday I made this, and I did not put Lycra in this one. So that's what it looks like. It's loose. This one here has Lycra. Can you see the difference in it already? I wash it in warm water in the washing machine on a delicate cycle, and I dry it on low heat in the dryer until it's dry. Doesn't take long. This is what it comes out to. It's the only way you're going to get sock yarn with polyamide in it to shrink is by using the light one. Yes, there are, I guess, compound cylinders and other cylinders you can make baby sock, but I'm using a 54. I've had people ask me, can I use a 60? You certainly can. I've never worked it out. I only made these. I Honestly, I sell them for $15 a pair, and they sell like hotcakes. That's why yeah. I bought my 54 cylinder was because of your thing on Facebook. And I could, that, that was several months ago. Uh -huh. I thought... Just recently, I thought, what did I buy that for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I and love I it. Again, I thought, well, I also have a pattern out on Circular Sock Knitting 2.0 on the Facebook Facebook page. It's called One Skein Croy Fingerless Mittens. I make it on a 54. There is no ribbing to it. You can do the thumb gusset. Um, learn how to use the, do the thumb gusset. They're very easy. One skein of Cory yarn makes a full pair. I sell those for $35. They sell like hotcakes. I can't make them quick enough. So what okay. is the name of your pattern on that? One skein Croy fingerless mittens. You'll find it out there. And is, is it Debbie Brandle or? Debbie Br you'll find it by Debbie Brandle. Okay. B-R-A-N-D-L-E? -E. No, D -L. just D-L. D-L. Okay. So I have the machine set up. What I do is I attach my bonnet. I do waist yarn. I do what I call separator thread like this here in between all my socks. Then I do another waist yarn. That way, if I'm doing a long tail of socks and I wanna, want to go in Kitchener them, I, pull, I do one round of this. I pull the thread out and I don't have to take everything off the machine. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching, the, I have my waist yarn right now I'm going to cut it. I'm starting, and I'm using the ends, those little balls that you have after you make up a pair of socks, you have about 10, 15 grams left if you actually weighed it, sometimes more or less. If you ran it, 
and your pattern repeat is often, you can actually match your pair of socks. If you don't have young children, one thing you can do with these socks is you can make an eye cord on your machine with like four or five needles in it and just keep going around and you can make string them together for an advent calendar and put the other thing I did is at my local yarn shop there was a pattern that I bought and it was for hand knitting and it had the yarn the whole kit and it was just a little bit bigger bigger which if I made this longer and made this higher they took silverware and a napkin wrapped it and if you're having a Christmas buffet they use Christmas yarns and you could put your silverware in here and you know that way when people come by you could put little mitts in the toes if you wanted to okay just an idea you could put a little tail and that way they can bring it home as an ornament for the tree there is just so many things you could you don't need them for anything so what i'm doing is i'm running my regular yarn And then I'm, I am running the Lycra through this part. I don't run it through here. I just run it back through here. And then I'm putting this up. And by the way, I do have handouts for anyone who would like a handout. That'd be great. Thank you. I don't if I don't have enough, just take a picture of it. So all I'm doing is I oh I already ran a so you run the lycra straight from the back say again across to the front the lycra the lycra is going with my yarn but it doesn't this is kind of like a little bit of a tensioner up here mm -hmm. i do not run it there i run it from the back to the front where it drops that's you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, wait, heel spring. Now I need my heel spring. The heel spring is run throughout the entire, the entire skein. The and the lycra going. is not supposed to be under the heel spring. Okay. okay. And all I'm going to do is do 17 rows, my normal tension. And I'm going to hang my hem.
you pick up the ladders here when you're hanging your hem, the lycra goes right with it because it's so sticky. It attaches to the yarn. Okay, so that's my hung hem. Put my weights back on. And then if you're following along in the pattern, I do 15 rows for the leg. You can make it as long as you want it. Okay, this is 15. Now, I'm going to raise all my heel stitch needles. And I use my halfway marks. My I'm I'm going halfway to halfway. Okay? And now I'm just going to use do a regular heel. I use Oh, they came and took that. And all I'm doing for my heel, there's not many needles, I'm going normal to the normal hash marks that you would on a normal sock for a 54. So there's not many needles being actually used. Let's see, four needles. Now I am done decreasing. To I'm going to do a wrapped heel. If you do not do a wrapped heel, you'll have holes. These being so small, that hole really shows. But what I do in the very beginning, and not I don't when I'm when I'm decreasing, I don't lift up to as normal when you do it. But only when I'm de when I'm increasing. Do I put down two? And I'm now I'm going to. And you just have to make sure that you put your finger and catch that. So two down on my return, wrapped heel, so my yarn is going behind the needles. You hold that yarn down with your finger, you'll catch it. Going behind what needle? When I put this needle down, some people the you know the the uh, you can just put it down where it catches. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't. I take this yarn and I'm placing it behind the needle. Okay. <coughs> placing the needle down. Make sure your latch is open and place the yarn behind the needle. So the first pass is two needles down and the second pass is like one needle? No, the first, when you're, when you're decreasing your needles, you're going one, 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 one up to the, you know, your, your center for a normal heel. When you're increasing your needles, the first pass on each side is two needles. 
and then it's one one. So needle down, yarn behind, just make sure your latch is, is open. Sometimes because you're running every other needle, sometimes you have to hold the yarn down or it tends to pop up a little bit. As you can see, see it may or may not catch there. So I just want to hold it down to make sure it catches. Okay, I'm now at my hash mark. That's, that's it for it. My needles are going all down and according to the pattern is now 12 rows for the foot. Just make sure all your For the toe, needles up again, one up on either side, So I've done one up, one up each time. Now I'm going back. I'm putting the needles back into play. I'm t putting two down. My yarn goes behind those needles. Just make sure that you kind of hold that so to make sure it catches. And from this point, I am done basically with the sock. When I cut it off, because lycra springs right back, I will cut off more lycra than you think, because as you can see, it just kind of springs, just to make sure that it runs with your, with your yarn as your kitchener clothes. Your kitchener clothes, same way you do a normal sock. Sometimes when you're running every other needle, the yarn doesn't always want to go in there. Just make sure that it catches. Yes, I use, a, well, no, I got my weight on the bottom. I got my normal weight underneath my cast-on basket, but I use the V-hook and one oh, weight. Okay. When you're doing your heels and toes or the whole sack. Mm -hmm. And then here, if you want to see the way, here's my separator thread. All I do is pull out the ends. 
put my finger in there. Out it goes. You can reuse it if you want. There's my sock. Now I know it looks large. You wash that. It turns into this. Does it stay wash that it. size? size this after here. You wash it? Can you wash it through the dryer again? You know what? I only wash them in cold. I wash my socks in cold water and I air dry them. I don't put them back in the dryer. Um, if it, I don't know the answer to that because I, I never. I just wonder if the kids you know how they, people don't actually listen and they go in the dryer. Will they felt? Will they keep felting if you got? Well, they really the don't felt the lycra tightens, and I really can't answer that. Okay. If anybody does use lycra in their socks. Do you dry them in your dryers? No. You don't. You don't. You do air dry them also. That's the only way I ever. Even time. I don't use like in my my socks. I air dry my socks. So the, the first, first time you dry them, though, you should dry them in the dryer to, to activate the. I go activate the lycra needs heat. So wash it in warm water, and then wash them in a in the. I put my dryer at the lowest temperature setting. If anybody wants to see my samples up here, any yeah. other questions? Yes. So I use Lycra in my socks, and I don't dry them, and they don't get heat. That the Lycra has not been activated. No wonder I don't think much of Lycra. <laughs> <laughs> you can stain them after you made them. I've never, never, act them. I've never activated them. <laughs> <laughs> You're just, I, I, know. I, spend all the I, money I thought, Lycra. what's the big deal with Lycra? They don't seem real stretchy yeah. or anything. <laughs> On a normal 54, I can probably look this up someplace, but you probably know the answer. What is the unused, if you were using all the needles to make the heel and toe, what is the unused number? I think it's long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So do you adjust your tension at all? No, I do it for the same as the opal, as is if I was using the opal yarn on here, I use the same. I don't, I do not. You know, if you made a normal adult sock and used all the needles, I don't change the tension on it. Now, six ply yarn, I do change the tension because it is a, it is quite a bit thicker. Is come on up here, feel them out, take a look at them. It will shrink. I know it doesn't look like it's going to shrink, but it does shrink. That's four ply that you have there, or that's regular opal. Regular this opal. is regular opal yarn. Opal Regina, I think it's four ply, isn't four it? Four ply. That's yes, right. Well, exactly what you have. Yeah. Fingering. Mm -hmm. Is it's fingering weight? Fingering weight. Yeah. Yes. Is, um, should I get one with this one? Awesome. 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 I've used four it yarn way. for it. I've, I've used lots of different yarns. You know, it just, whatever I have a small amount of, I do. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to match your socks into a pattern, because some of these are so small, if you notice these match. What I will do is whatever cylinder I happen to have on here, I will, each sock, as it says, takes approximately six to seven grams. So you're going to need like 14 grams. You're going to need a little bit more if you're going to run that pattern. Because if you have something that repeats often, you won't need as much. But if you have a pattern repeat that's really long, and some of them are really long, you're going to have to run that and you're going to need more waste yarn. Some people don't care if they don't match. If you're going to use them for an advent calendar or a Christmas ornament or just like maybe put a gift card, you can make them a little bit bigger, put a gift card in there, put some candy or something in there, put some cash in there instead of a gift card. A bill. Yeah, you know, I feel free to give me one. I'll be there for Christmas. Um, you, can, you know, you can make them longer. You want to do it for the silverware? Make them a little bit longer. What size would you say that fits? Do you have I, an don't, idea? I don't have any grandchildren. I can't tell you. <laughs> but I will that tell you. Like the woman who, who at first commissioned, oh, my God, she fell in love with them. And they must have fit her granddaughter off the bat because she says she loves them. So now and some. stretch though, some, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, they pop so right back. Oh, yeah, I would say that's out of the three months. Yeah, I would say at least three months. Yeah. So you just have to make sure they're out of the three months. months. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
That's right. You can make knees, socks. You can make like you know, let them get them longer, or you can do whatever you want. Come take a look. Okay. It's it really so is amazing once you step on there. On the um, baby sack, probably then, then you know what I mean. Instead of little blinders, they don't need them really big around. I don't know, I've seen some pretty bad little legs. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.